MSC Seascape t- tells the passengers they have to book seats for the theater shows in the Chora Theater. Let me tell you what my experience was like. Hello, everyone. My name is Fatima Mahmoud. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my MSC Seascape 2023 video playlist from end of February to beginning of March featuring the Port of Calls in Ocho Rios, Jamaica, Georgetown, Cayman Island, Costa Maya, Mexico, Nassau, Bahamas, San Juan, Puerto Rico, Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic, in addition to MSC's Ocean K Marine Reserve Private Island and Miami, Florida. Why am I making more cruising videos when there are already so many professional content creators out there? First, I'd like to thank all the professional YouTubers making cruising content that helps people like me get ready for cruising. The pros are better than me for several reasons. They have better professional equipment, they have more experience speaking on camera, filming, editing, and mixing broad strokes narratives with details. My approach is going to be different. I'm going to focus on details. I'm going to get into the weeds, show documents because I don't have one platform to show documents. My videos might be shorter or longer depending on the content and they'll be filled with information on first time cruiser anxieties. Sometimes there will be no narration. I hope you enjoy the difference in my approach. Let's get started with this video. I sealed the MSC Miravilia during COVID twice and similarly in the dailies and on the app they have these constant reminders that the theater shows require reservations so you should book your seats in advance to get your space it did not seem like that was enforced at all i the solo traveler just walked right into the theater so i wondered on msc seascape if it was going to be different and how it would be different again on seascape all over the dailies in the app it's always about you need to make reservations you need to book your seats so the experience was mixed. So one thing this announcement says is guests need to be seated 10 minutes prior to showtime. So on MSC Sleep, almost everything ran exactly on time. Everything started on time. For the theater shows in particular, only one time did I recall it being five minutes late. Only one time did it seem like it was almost 10 minutes late. Everything is on time. So if you walked into the 7.30 show or the 9.30 show early, like 7.20, 9.20, people would always already be in the seats and things would start to fill up. At the same time, if you try to go to the 7.30 show so you can then go to the 8 p.m. Le Cabaret and you had a 6 o'clock dining time like I did, you're always sort of rushing to go from one thing to the next. So that's something that I will also say, whether you do 7.30 or 9.30 shows, you're always going from potentially one thing to the other if you're the type of person who wants to maximize your experience on the cruise ship. Similarly with the not booking my seat, I could do that because I'm a solo traveler. If you're a party of three or more, you might want to consider being very diligent about this so that you can find seats potentially together and you might want to get there earlier so you can seat together. It wasn't a problem for me as a solo traveler or maybe couples to kind of come in last minute, come in when the lights are down and find a seat. So I observed what was happening at the theater door. I showed it to you in another video, how small the entranceway is. So before the start of the shows, they would have two crew there and they would scan cruise cards as people were going in. But it was really easy to slip slip by them. And then once the light went down, I noticed and people were coming in later, there was no real scanning of cruise cards. So I pulled one of them aside one time and asked them, like, what's the point of this? What do you guys hope to achieve? And they said that it's about crowd control. It's about, you know, managing the number of seats that are available so that if at one particular time, lots of people show up and the people who made the reservations get the seats first, the people who didn't make the reservation have to wait until everyone's seated then to try to find seats. So the rules appear pretty clear and maybe here strict to some people, but in reality, I felt the enforcement was not as strong as the image of it was presented. So that's another inconsistency. And if you listen to enough videos on YouTube about MSC, you'll find out how inconsistent they are and enforcement is an area of inconsistency in the cruise line. Uh, It worked to my advantage as a solo theater. I went to the show 
with that reservation. I went to the show twice. One of these things that say that, you know, on the apps that you can only see the show once and that's not enforced, just like the reservations aren't thoroughly enforced. But never say never, you know, you don't know if you're someone and you don't book a reservation and you and your group don't get the seats that you want or the timing that you want. Now I'm going to show you on the app how you make your bookings for your theater shows. There's two showings of it if you look at your daily program, 7.30 to 8, 30 minutes. And that leaves enough time to go to the cabaret. So you have to hit show theaters here and then it says, shows you where the two seats are, how many seats are left. It gives you the recording uh, disclaimer here. So it's a short show. Then you have to, once you get to the screen, then you can book now. And it says, hello, Fatima. And let's get into uh, Remember, guests can attend the show once per cruise. That seems a little odd to me. You hit next down here. Okay, now it went. And then I pick 7.30 versus 9. Hit next. Hit confirm. I'm reservation receipt, happy with it. I'm gonna hit no, because I always had some problem with it. Not now. This is what I've booked. This added personal agenda. And this, it just shows the poor. If you are unable to use the app, there's a malfunction with the app, or you just don't like using cruise line apps, you can, from your room phone, call to guest services and ask them to book seats for you, or you can go down to guest services in person and ask them to book seats for you. And some elderly couple that I knew had took that option, and they were able to book out a couple days by going to guest services. Thank you for watching my video. I'd love to hear from you on email at fmahmood at wellesley.edu. You can also find me on LinkedIn at that address. And if you do send me a connection request, please go ahead and send me a note. Before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And please go ahead and watch my next video. Thank you.